The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi everybody, it's time for your farm and ranch news. Well, Republicans on the House Agriculture Committee are proposing to spend more than $50 billion to shore up commodity programs and crop insurance. House Agriculture Committee Chair G.T. Thompson is pushing back, though, against Democrats' attacks on his Farm Bill proposal set for committee markup this Thursday. Thompson argues that his newly named Farm Food and National Security Act is bipartisan, despite top House and Senate Ag Democrats' multiple claims that it isn't. It is built in a bipartisan way, a transparent, open process, and we've got um, I've got provisions I put into the chairman's mark that have come from both Republicans and Democrats and, quite frankly, the industry. Now, the top Democrat on the House Ag Committee, David Scott of Georgia, criticized the draft bill in a statement citing the SNAP and CCC provisions, as well as the bill's removal of climate guardrails on Inflation Reduction Act conservation funding. Also keep in mind that retiring Senate Agriculture Committee Chair Debbie Stabenow of Michigan has said repeatedly and publicly for that matter that she won't let her legacy be reducing food stamp benefits to help pay for farm programs. Stay with us. We'll have more ag news right after this. <music> 